G'day Oatmeal Heads, and welcome back to the Captain Oats Show. Today we will be uh, paying our respects to the Anzacs. And we'll be doing so by visiting the Shrine of Remembrance, located in Melbourne. Um, the good thing about the Shrine of Remembrance is they have an online uh, virtual tour, so I don't even need to leave my house, so it's perfect. So let's us all head on over to the Shrine of Remembrance. Let me just get into position. Okay, so here it is. This is the entrance. Very fancy. It's got these fancy walls here. And yeah. What does that say? Okay, Anzac is not merely about loss. Okay, so that's good because I was kind of worried that this video would be uh, sort of depressing, but uh, it's it is about courage and endurance, Ooh. and duty, and love of country and mateship, and good humor. That that's good to hear. Okay, so we're gonna have a good fun time here, guys. A good humorous uh, fun time. Uh, and the survival sense of self, worth, decency in the face of dreadful odds. Okay, so that sounds pretty interesting. So let us go head, head on over into the entrance. Alright, so this is the entrance here. Some nice glass windows there. Looks like they're silicon jointed, very fancy. So let's head in. What's it? Oh. Alrighty, what's this? We got some medals. Nice. This wall contains 4,000 service medals. Each represents 100 Victorians who have served Australia in war or peacekeeping, and six who have died. 4,000 4, What's 4,000 times 100? That's quite a lot. Only six have died, that's a pretty good uh, accomplishment. Whoa, so let's check out these medals. Wow, so many medals, dude. So that's that's just at the entrance. So uh, pretty exciting stuff for the entrance. Did you, oh, they're telling me to measure things again. Hang on, let's measure this. How do I measure? I don't know, I'm not gonna go into measurement mode, don't worry, hang on, I wanna go full full screen. There we go. All right, so if, uh, and donation. So if you want to donate to the Shrine of Remembrance, uh, here's the box. Um, just put some, put some money in there. And then we go in. Ooh. Wow. Look at this place. Looks really cool. Nice red, blood red roof. Is that a gift shop? Hey, let's go to the gift shop. Ooh. What's what's this? Create your own souvenir. That I've seen these before. They they're, they're uh, not that interesting, but it's still a kind of it's a cool uh, cool little fun thing you can do at the Shrine of Remembrance. Um press a penny. Uh right, yeah, you press pennies. So that that's cool. What else we got? Uh, well, we got some Australian stuffs. So we got some stubbies for your beers, and that's cool. What do the prices look like? I can't really see the prices. I'm not sure what those things are. And we got some water bottle. They look like that's ten dollars for a water bottle. That's crazy. Get out of here, dude. That's crazy talk. And then we got some uh, fancy mugs. Whoa, whoa. All right, just. Collector's Souvenir Medallion. What's... Oh, okay. And then we got some t-shirts over here. T-shirts and hats. That one says... Air Force. That's a cool shirt. I'd wear that. Some polos. Pretty nice. Got your Aussie bucket hats. And umbrellas. How much are the umbrellas? Fifty dollars for an umbrella? You know, this this place is a fucking ripoff, bro. 
How much for that Af oh, <laughs> Afghanistan scarf in Vietnam? Oh, why would why would you want to wear that? Fifty dollars for the scarf as well. Man, these guys are these 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 guys are taking me for a ride here. I wonder how much it actually costs to get into this place. Probably fucking really expensive. But we're doing it for free, so that's that's the good thing. That's the good thing about uh, online uh, virtual um, stuff. You can do it for free. But you can't buy the things for free. I mean, you can look at all the stuff, but you can't possess them. Uh, so we got some ties, very nice, some socks. Hmm. Oh, we got a nice picture up here. Some uh, some cool do Air Force cat blue. Ooh, it all right, you can shop online as well. Okay, so I take back what I said before. You can shop online as well, but that'll, that'll still cost you though. And then we got some books. The Western Front. And some movies. Never Forget Australia. I've, I haven't seen it. I don't know what that is. Heroes of the Summy. Some. Nancy Wake. Not sure who that is. 40,000 Horsemen. These sales sound like good, uh, interesting movies. Ooh, those bears are cute. Little, uh, little, uh, sailor bears. I wouldn't mind having one of them. I got a few of them. I wonder how much the bears are. I don't know. They don't have a price tag on them, so... What else have we got? Where are our boys? True. I keep asking this. I, uh... I've lost them. We don't, I don't know where the boys are. What's this? Uh, oh, we got some model planes that you can build. That's cool. Um, all pretty neat stuff. All very Anzac themed, um, as you'd expect. We got candy. Okay, here we go. This, here's the real. Here's the real stuff. What have What have we got in the candy selection? So we've got Tim Tams. Obviously, how much are the Tim Tams? Four dollars. I think that's regular Tim Tam price. I don't know. It's been a while since I bought Tim Tams. Maltesers. Nice. Burger rings, twisties, Allen snacks. All your classic Australian snacks. I don't know what Jolly Jolly is. Must be a Melbourne thing. Um, cool. Got the chocolates. All sorts of licorice. Nice. We got wagon wheels. Always good to have wa wagon wheels. Are a classic. They go back way, way, way back. Uh, all the Anzacs ate wagon wheels. I'm not sure what these are here. And you got Smith's chips, which is a classic. Uh, Burger, more burger rings. They should have had burger men. That would have been a bit more Australian. I'm not sure if they still make burger men, but uh, burger men, a bit more uh, Australian classic. Um, and then they got veggie chips. Pretty good selection of snacks, I guess. Um, feels like home. And, ooh, drinks. Okay, we want to check out the drinks, definitely. How do I get to the drink spot? There, yeah. there. What's in the fridge? Hmm. Solo, sun-kissed, Pepsis. Okay, so this place looks like more of a Pepsi place rather than a Coke place. So don't come to the Shrine of Remembrance expecting to get a Coke, because they've only got Pepsis and Gatorades. And it looks like they put some of the chocolates in the fridge, which is very uh, considerate, because I know they've got some chocolates over here, uh, maybe a bit melty in the Australian heat. Uh, but they're considerate for the people who like their chocolates to be refrigerated. I don't really like my chocolates to be refrigerated, but, you know, that's, a, that's okay. Uh, everyone's got different tastes in things, so it's good, to, um, it's good to be accommodating to people, you know? Um, I think those are fridge magnets. Pretty neat. And then we got the staff only section. I wonder what's behind there. That's where they keep all the good stuff, I bet. Anyway. Front counters here. You can get some fake poppies, I think. Earrings. 
pretty pretty uh, standard for a souvenir shop. What is that? Are those poppers? The fuck? All right. Um, pens, lanolin. I don't know what lanolin is. Uh, leave a uh, comment below if you know what lanolin is. Ah, uh, look at these bears. They're cute. You got a little war bear. Little PTSD war bear. And what is that? I think that's a nurse. I've got a nurse bear as well. I've got a bunch of bears. I want that little sailor bear. It's so cute. Look at these little uh, sailor fuku. And then we got the, a bucket of just various animals, horses, uh, cockatoo. Cool, dude. Tote bags. You always need tote bags in your in your souvenir shop. That's pretty important. Uh, you can't go to a souvenir shop without uh, a tote bag. Without buying a tote bag. I, um, I don't know if you need a tote bag to go here. <sighs> Dear customers, what does that say? We require card transactions to be a minimum of $5. We apologize for any inconvenience. That's that's kind of bullshit. Uh, I guess they're kind of saving. I guess there's like transaction fees that they got to do. So it's not really worthwhile for these guys to be doing uh, less than $5 transactions. But considering that they're charging $40 for an umbrella, I think they're, 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 they're a bit rude there. And then you got your commemorative coins over here. Commemorative coins are good because they're, they're good for uh, remembering the time you went to the Shrine of Remembrance. And the Shrine of Remembrance is all about remembering. So never forget and make sure you never forget by buying a, a collectible coin. Australia has promised Britain 50,000 more men. Fuck you, Britain. That's where all the boys went, dude. Britain took them. Fucking Britain takes everything. What is this? A coffee machine. Oh, that's nice. Coffee with fresh milk. Cool. In case you want a coffee. I guess I don't really have a, like a cafe here. No, ca no cafe. Kind of disappointing, actually. I, I feel like this place should have like a, a proper cafe instead of just having this uh, shitty instant coffee machine. What is that? A crunch bar. Mm, I don't know what they are. And you can get a wallet. Pretty cool. Can I see their their private staff stuff there? It's a little bit blurry. But they've got a hand sanitizer, which is good. You always want to have hand sanitizer on on hand. What is this? A biscuit tin? Yeah, it's biscuits. That's cool. If your if your grandma wants to get a biscuit tin, she can get a biscuit tin there, or you can get a biscuit tin for your grandma if she's not uh, um, mobile. Pretty cool. I really like the bears. Anyway, yeah. Ooh, what's this? Looks like we got some books here. Digging for diggers. Hmm, sounds interesting. Lofty's mission. Ooh. Do not forget Australia. Yeah, cool. What's this? Oh, they got children's books as well. The Bear Who Went to War. That sounds like a bit of a drag. I don't know if I'd want my kid to be... But then again, you got to teach the kids about the war, because, like, uh, remembrance. This is the Shrine of Remembrance, so it's important to remember. Midnight. And then I think this is the pen station. So you, they got a bunch of pens here. Ooh, wooden pens. That's interesting. You don't normally see pens made of wood. Pretty darn interesting, I gotta say. This place is pretty cool. I would like to visit it in real life. But, you know, we got the next best thing. Virtual, virtual stuff. And then we got some soap. Well, that was pretty neat. What's over here? Eh. Eh. More stuffed animals. And some other stuff. Got some candles. Nice. 
And more stubbies. They gotta have the stubbies. Australians, they love the stubbies. Cool, dude. Well, anyway, that was the Shrine of Remembrance. Uh, uh, pretty, pretty fun time. Uh, go, go check it out and make sure to pay your respects, um, like I just did. So, uh, thanks for coming along on this, uh, um, very important, uh, uh, video of, uh, shining a light on some of Australia's, uh, greatest heroes. So, uh, like and subscribe, as always, um, and thanks for watching, guys. Uh, much appreciated. And um, leave a comment, uh, a detailed comment, uh, telling me about uh, your ancestor that fought for the, uh, the freedoms. Yeah, that'll be good. You get some community, um, community interactions. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. See you next time.